G'day crew, welcome back to my vlog. It is day three in my cycle, which is Ben Arm Day. So today uh, I'll walk you through some, uh, some rehabby warm up stuff that I'm doing, uh, and also then my working sets, which will be mostly on the rings. So it's a bent arm strength session. Let's get into it. It's a good idea to warm up the elbows for any bent arm work. Here I'm using my paddle, but you can use a broomstick, uh, or any long length of dowel and be sure to lock in that elbow and then do both arms pronate and supinate okay ready to get my first working set underway but first a little bit about the rings these are plastic rings they're not ideal they're not good to work with I hate them but you know why I got them because my setup is outside it's in the weather and i did have some timber ones that looked a bit like this until it rained then they started looking like this then it rained some more and they ended up like that nearly cut my arm off so get timber ones nice thick ones but don't leave them outside these are a single ring chin notice that i'm holding at the top and then lowering in segments to really activate the lats. Really concentrating on warming up the lats here. I'll do five reps of these. As you can see, I'm really squeezing those lats to wake them up and get them ready for the ring work ahead. These are L sits to shoulder stands. As you can see, I'm having trouble making a full extension here and over rotation. That's not supposed to happen. Here's a better attempt. L sit to shoulder stand. This lockout is very hard for me at the moment. Resetting, going again. Trying to get that extension controlled and smooth the whole way. These are a forward roll. You need the false grip to do these, which I explain in a moment. I'm doing sets of three rolls. You can also use a band between the rings for support to do these. Great for the upper body. False grip. Okay, so a lot of the forward rolls, muscle ups, that require a special grip, false grip, if you haven't heard of that yet. Um, so normally when you grab something, like a ring, you would grab it like this. The only problem is you can't get up on top of the ring without tremendous strength. So we use the false grip, which is grab the ring up the side and then as it pulls down, you maintain that back hand bone position on top of the ring. And your whole top of your hand stays on top. That way you can recover, roll over the, to, to the top, or you can use your muscle up to pull up to the top. False grip. These are a false grip chin. Here I'm taking the false grip getting my hand set in position, starting from the top position and then lowering, rotating the hands outwards and repeating the process to get a feel for the false grip and toughen up the wrists. These are ring turned out dips, which are very difficult for me. I can only manage a few reps at the moment. Starting from the front support position with the palms facing forwards and then lowering with the feet going somewhat behind the body, trying to stay tight. Finished on the rings and it's pretty hectic on the, on the biceps, the rings. So uh, I'm gonna finish with some uh, arm curls. Curls get the girls, but they also save your tendons. So we're using a drill where we anchor into the wall just to avoid swinging. And we're just gonna curl up 
twist, gently lower down. And it's just putting that bicep through a different range under load just to help condition it, strengthen it up so it can tolerate the work I'm putting it through on the rings. So this isn't muscle building for me. Um, I'm really focusing on conditioning that tendon. And finally, got some baby weights. Got some baby weights here for some Cuban rotations for the shoulders. So what we're gonna do is 90 degrees, lower, and up. So strengthening the rotator cuffs in the shoulders so that they can tolerate the handstands, the ring work, all the strength work I wanna do, and have healthy, strong, functional shoulders. You don't need a lot of weight for these. But you can build up over time. That's it for the working sets. So I think I might finish with a little meditation, just laying down on the ground. So I'll just sit you down there so you can see. And I'm just gonna yoga style. Oh, have a little meditation. 10 minutes. See you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe. Um...